So what exactly is reverse progesterone and should you be doing it? Stick around to find out more. Hey everyone, it's Sam. Welcome back to Canine Corner. Today we're going to talk a little bit about reverse progesterone. Please like and subscribe to our channel. We'll have new information and exciting videos about new products coming out all the time. Reverse progesterone isn't as complicated as you think. It's all in the name, progesterone. So as a reminder, progesterone is generally used to track the ovulation date in your canine when she's in estrus or in heat, but it can also be used in the reverse fashion to monitor a pregnancy and predict the whelping date. So effectively, a progesterone enables a pregnancy to begin and terminates once it's approaching completeness. We have two methods for progesterone with the forward and the reverse. The forward progesterone tracking the ovulation and the peak fertility range, and the reverse timing the whelping date and planning of C-sections for the puppies. So let me show you what I mean. First, I'm gonna draw the LH surge and how that coincides with the progesterone curve from onset of bleeding all the way through a pregnancy and whelping. So in purple, we have the LH surge. This is a very brief hormone that is the basically last precursor to progesterone that's gonna kickstart the cycle. So prior to this, we can be running kind of a baseline progesterone here and with some variations and wobbles. Following the LH surge, we're gonna have that jump or increase and have ovulation happen probably somewhere in here. Now after this is done, typically we continue to rise until we come to a crest and then come back down to a baseline. So with your ovulation in this range, if she takes for the pregnancy, you're likely to find the highest progesterone concentrations in this middle to late stage of the pre pregnancy. Um, the reverse really comes into play here with the progesterone in this area when she is trending downward back towards baseline you should see that number start to fall in about day 50 through 65, and especially a couple days before whelping or when a C-section is needed. So the reverse progesterone is exceptionally handy, combined with a couple other factors like checking change in internal temperature to getting a best estimate on when naturally a whelping would occur, or in some cases when a C-section is required to get that animal to the vet prior to a natural whelping so that they can perform the surgery. So the reverse progesterone is actually the same exact test kit, it's the same hormone. What we're basically talking about is a normal progesterone for ovulation is checking what's called a forward progesterone, basically as it goes from baseline through ovulation and then peaks. And then on the reverse end, We have a downtrend back to kind of zero or baseline where, where she's going to be in anesterous or when she's outside of her cycle or heat prior to whelping and later on in the pregnancy. So that's the only difference there. Again, a reverse can also be used to check any progesterone levels post ovulation. Um, but generally when we speak of reverse is going to be when you're approaching the due date. So it can be used to help you time when that C-section time is approaching, which of course you will need to get with your veterinarian to have scheduled. They'll probably need to do another test. But this can help you get a better idea of where she's at. Is it a false labor? What exactly are we looking at? A reverse progesterone is going to tell us a lot more because again, that progesterone drop is usually what's going to cause those puppies to get pushed out, or at least the onset of labor. You can use that to monitor. You can also use it to monitor the health or status of the pregnancy. So the one thing we can't actually use progesterone for reliably is to determine if a pregnancy is actually um, being gestated or if, there's, if gestation has actually occurred. We have a couple things that can go on, including pseudo-pregnancy, and an actual high value of progesterone during what would be her gestation period, regardless if puppies are being developed as embryos or not. So in this case, progesterone is not the best tool to actually confirm a pregnancy. For that, we would suggest an ultrasound typically done after day 30, um, an x-ray typically done after day 40, 45 for the 
to get a skeletal count of the puppies, or a, another hormone known as relaxin, which is only produced when there are embryos. So those three methods can be used to confirm a pregnancy. Progesterone is not going to be reliable enough, just due to, in many cases, the bitch actually holding a progesterone and maintaining progesterone level during the gestation period without actually having successfully becoming pregnant. So let me also draw you another graph. It's going to be helpful to kind of imagine the progesterone levels from the onset of heat or bleeding um, all the way through either pregnancy or a false pregnancy or where nothing happens at all as kind of a bell-shaped curve. So let me explain that a little further with a graph. So we're going to start here with this line being at baseline or virtually zero. In some cases there can be a small amount picked up with an analyzer. And then as we increase, ovulation happens somewhere in here, we reach a peak, and then we come back down to baseline. So for most of the year and out of cycle, the dog is gonna be in baseline, there's not very much progesterone being triggered, but during that cycle and after the onset of, um, from proestrus through estrus, she's going to have kind of this, it should resemble this shape. So in the middle, you'll have the higher regions, and at the ends, you're gonna be closer to baseline. So we here at K9P4.com heavily encourage you to rely on your veterinarian for surgeries, C-sections, and other advanced techniques when it comes to delivering puppies. However, the reverse can be used to give you a better estimate on when that time is coming, and with your own device, allow you to take some of the guesswork out. Should you confirm your pregnancy, for instance, and your progesterone be at a low level, now's the time to get with your veterinarian and see if she needs any supplementation, just to ensure that that pregnancy is carried through well and the pups come out all live and in good health. So our best device when it comes to tracking reverse progesterone is going to be the Cube Vet, and that's what we're going to recommend uh, for any reverse progesterone use, especially when it comes to timing caesarean sections. So to learn more, you can check out our video here on the Cube Vet. Learn more about all of its awesome features and why it's such a great device. Um, or give us a call or check out our website at www.k9p4.com. So thanks for joining us and watching. This is Sam with Canine Corner. Uh, we hope to see you again and have a great day.